three, I believe it is, right? Major key alert. But I, I really believe firmly that the application of knowledge is where the power lies. Talk to him. So the way they were, maybe the way that they applied the knowledge that they had, it's about the way you use it. Did they use it for good or did they use it for evil? And I think that's what everybody's trying to get to the bottom of. And, you know, that's really all I can say. I'm, I'm really not a judgmental person. Like, I think people do what they feel that their best option is at that moment in time. And sometimes it might not be a popular decision. So I get it. Now, who are some of the big names within the venture capital world, tech and corporate sector that stand out? Oh, man. I mean, there's so many guys and women like there's there's so many women out here, you know, and doing so much good work. I can't really just pinpoint, you know what I'm saying? I really I really love like jay-z right now right like i'm loving this venture capital firm i'm loving the fact that you know criminal justice reform speaks to him and resonates with him i mean honestly if i was to take on a venture capital firm or look for vc money i would love to uh you know start with him but then you got other people like you know microsoft ventures like they're they're doing some amazing things in the tech space and oh man it's just so so many individuals john legend who's making so much noise in the criminal justice reform space you know it's a beautiful thing it's just now let's just try to figure out how we can all come together you know as one fist rather than just a bunch of fingers slapping slapping and poking at the same problem i heard you were at south by southwest so what was that like for you oh my yeah, South by Southwest was amazing. I mean, we ended up meeting so many different people just doing so many amazing things. And, you know, Encompass, that company is just really, really dope. And, you know, you got Kairos, my man, uh, Brian Bracken out of uh, Miami. You know what I mean? They're, and this is a black man. He got the largest cryptocurrency commitment in the history of uh, the Bitcoin, you know, and... and I mean, this guy's an animal. He raised thirty million dollars in ten days. You know oh God! I mean? like, mm. It was just amazing, man. So, so many great relationships were forged out of uh, South by Southwest. Very solid. definitely. If you haven't been down there, you should definitely check it out. I definitely have been. What was the climate like this year with the package bombings that took place? Oh, I mean, like I know Ti did a performance, and that place, you know, had got like a bomb threat during that time. Tip still performed and rocked the house. I know Guru came out really showed out like it was just amazing my son the general came down it was just like it was lit bro i don't think you know one monkey don't stop no show right absolutely now how were you able to challenge attendees with your mission well i think i think the 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 best way to describe it is i just i really just insert myself into the dialogue i think people use diversity and inclusion and these are like buzzwords that everybody's using but so I, I would just like when they open the floor for questions I would always ask a question by saying hi my name is Vincent Bragg I'm the founder and CEO of Concreates.com my question well basically I would tell her what Concreates is right we're a creative agency that crowdsources ideas and strategies from a network of incarcerated men and women my question is you guys are talking about diversity and inclusion when there's 70 plus million people walking around with criminal histories. What are you doing to include this particular population in on these talks? And most people were like, Next question, please. I didn't realize that this population was so big. You know, let's see if we can help in some way. So I think the way I was able to engage was to, to at least put it in people's heads and you know, exchange information and start to create that dialogue into how we can go about solving this this problem. So is it true you are on parole right now? Yes, absolutely. So how difficult is that juggling a business and having to report in with your officer? Well, in, in, in the federal system, it's just probation. So um, probation, honestly, is, is super, super cool about what I'm doing, right? Like, like, it's almost like a rehabilitation case study, if you will. So uh, they allow me to travel. They allow me to um, take these meetings and move around. You know, it's, it's kind of restricted sometimes. So they want notice in advance. And, and we've kind of been talking about that lately about, you know, since my business is really starting to take off and scale, how am I able to, to you know, some, some meetings, like if Mark Zuckerberg is like, 
hey, I need you up here in the morning. I'm going, I'm getting on a plane tonight. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's just something we need to dialogue and, and really create a plan of action. So, you know, this is not such a problem. So is it safe to say that law enforcement has been supportive of Concreate? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, obviously, I think the bigger it gets, the more problem it might be for them because, you know, it's big business. If people stop committing crimes and look at all of the people who are going to be out of jobs. So, you know what I mean? And so, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for that. So tell me this. What is your message to the corporate world? What would you like to see them do that they're not doing enough of? Let us sit at the table. Okay. That's, the, that's the first thing. Let us sit at the table because without us sitting at the table we're not being thought about it's just it's like the same saying out of sight out of mind right talk to them. so if we're not at the table or someone's not there to represent this population at the table it's like a politician trying to create laws and legislation for a neighborhood he never and will never set foot inside of it's just not gonna work can't just be people from an intellectual standpoint, making rules and judgments on a population without having the experience. That's what makes me the face of this movement. I have the experience and I've, you know, run several different businesses. I'm running several different businesses now. So yeah, I have the, the, the entrepreneurial experience as well as the the experience of being incarcerated. No doubt. Now, what is your message to people of color, the black and brown community, especially men who feel like there is no other way out other than selling drugs? That's an interesting question. Um, I mean, I, I could probably say a thousand things. I mean, I think the most important is to is self awareness. Again, you know, it's going to be important to be self aware of what your skill sets are and what your potential is and. You know, how did you end up in this situation? What is your experience? You know, like none of that stuff counts for nothing. You can't unlearn something. And then I would say read, you know, study these these individuals, study these mega corporations, you know, figure out how these dudes did what they did, how these women did what they did, and 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 remodel yourself after that, you know, like we got caught up in like living living in music video life and when it's all said and done like you can have music video money you know if you grind this thing out you know sometimes you got to sacrifice i know it's in us right diamonds and all that stuff come from africa right it's naturally ours so it's in our dna to want to have those things you know it was stolen from us but you can't get a two hundred thousand dollar car and you don't own the house message Hi, right, Vincent. So what's something that you would like to share with our listeners that we haven't been able to cover? Something that I would like to share. I mean, honestly, man, for real, for real, I love to read. You know, the way I evolved was from reading, you know what I'm saying? And there's just so many different books that shaped my mind and, and sparked so many different ideas. And, and, and you what was know, the first gave book? Me the, I would say The Process of I, first off. Hmm. It's called The Process of I, the letter I written by Emily Morosian. That's the first one. And for all the business and tech people out there um, that's listening, I would say Thick Face, Black Heart. What is it? Show you how to separate your emotions from business. What's that title again? Thick Face, Black Heart. Just read. Read, read, read. Study. Learn. Re-educate yourself. The education that we was taught in public school, that's not where it's at, man. It's not where it's at. They lied to us about a lot. So let me ask you this, Vincent. What can people expect from you uh, by 2020 and Con Create? Oh, man, so much, so much, so much, so much. We're working on some initiatives for the census, right? Like the census is really important to uh, black and brown people because, you know, we do not know. Major key alert. That the census is how they allocate monies to our cities, right? That's how they outline our districts for voting, right? Your votes do not count unless you are counted in that census. So that's going to be really huge because we're working on an initiative for a felon voter, this felon voter initiative and in, in the census. You can expect that by 2020. We're working on a program where employers will train people that are incarcerated to actually have a job sign a contract where they have a job for four years the day they walk out of prison. So, 
you know, you can expect that by 2020, which is a huge initiative because I, I believe that'll kill recidivism right away when we're talking, you know, 600,000 people being released from prison every year. Well, you're definitely an inspiration, fam. If people want to reach out to you, have questions, how do they get in touch with you, Vincent? Um, several different ways. I mean, you can email me. Obviously, that's perfect. Um, my email is Vincent Bragg at concreates.com. That's C O N C R E A T E S dot com. You can find me on Instagram at I am Vincent Bragg, B R A G G. I am Vincent Bragg. And every other social media platform is the same. Before I get out of here, I want to shout out some uh, people, if that's okay. I would like to shout out my man Dion Pouncil at ReflectionsApp.com. Uh, I think that's a huge, important shout out. Anya Lewis, the VP of Marketing. Janaea Griffin, the strategic strategist for Concreates. I definitely want to shout out Anthony Kalani, uh, Smart Money Rick. Some of my guys that's locked up behind bars still, Free Peso, Donnell Young, my man Grease, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, I want to make sure we all know that we in this together, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't step out without representing for our people. 